Okay, so, uh, this broke yesterday, at least to me, is when I found out. Uh, you can see the article right there. The OG Red Ranger, Austin St. John, ASJ, the leader of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, debatable leader of all the Power Rangers, has been arrested and could be in jail for quite a while. Uh, and I'm wearing a, you know, a Tommy shirt. Uh, this is, I'm going to read this article. The very one you see from MSN. That's the one that popped up when I searched. Like literally front page, uh, front page news. So when's the last time a Power Ranger was in front page? My guess would be when that other Red Ranger got into trouble. It's always the Red Rangers, man. It was uh, Ricardo Medina now off to St. John. <coughs> in that scene they have in uh, Forever Red. I don't know now, you know. But yeah. Uh, like, this is literally out of, like, it was just confirmed that not only is ASJ supposed to be coming back next year, but, like, three other Mighty Morphin Power Rangers so far are coming back next year officially for the 30th anniversary. Unofficially, looks like all of them are coming back for something else going down for the 30th anniversary, including one that's, uh, kind of been gone for 20 years and uh speaking of being away from the franchise in a, in a different way ASJ uh like, like he left his franchise for a while but he's so popular his character is so popular that that debate is still heated today him or Tommy I'm wearing my Tommy shirt you know where I'm at and for this to happen it's like my good, like he was, he was away for a while. Like he was uh, in health health care for the military overseas in the Middle East, in the Middle East. Technically, he wasn't in the military, but he helped him out. This means he, he's some kind of like real life hero. So to go to do this, at least medical fraud or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, let's let's read this. Power Ranger actor Austin St. John was arrested earlier in the week for a wire fraud conspiracy. The 47-year-old actor, who was best known for his role as Red Ranger Jason Lee Scott, was allegedly part of a scheme to exploit small business uh, administration's paycheck protection program to help businesses affected by the, corona, by the coronavirus pandemic. See. And he's still relatively new to being back with the franchise. Like, he only came back a few years ago. This was a big deal. I, I did a reaction to it. It was a big deal. Could it have been better? Yes, but it was a big deal. So I just don't get this. The Department of Justice... The just Department of Justice... The Department of Justice claimed that... St. John, real name Jason Lawrence Geiger? Wow, okay was one of 18 people who scammed the government out of $3.5 million. Damn. Uh, according to TMZ, he was handcuffed and arrested after police showed up at his home in the upscale neighborhood of McKinley, Texas, holding AR-15 guns. Damn. Those involved have allegedly obtained 16 PPP loans. I don't know what those are. And could face up to 20 years in prison if found guilty. In a, a press release, in a press release, the department said on the applications, the defendants are all asked to have misrepresented material information such as the true nature of their businesses and number of employees and the amount of payroll. Yeah, well, that's fraud. A statement was posted on St. John's Instagram account on Friday afternoon reading, Art St. John is a father, husband, role model, I thought and friend to many. The indictment detailed today is populated by a multitude of individuals, the majority of which Austin has no knowledge of and has never met or interacted with. It is our understanding that Austin put his faith, reputation, and finances in the hands of third parties whose goals were self-centered 
and ultimately manipulated and betrayed his trust. It, I heard he said he, he he got duped. That was his words. We expect Austin's legal team to successfully defend against these charges and lead to his ultimate exoneration. We ask that you respect the privacy of Austin's family in light of the serious situation. Thank you for your support. After St. John Lanyard's role as the Red Ranger in 1993, he reprised the role, so he did, yeah, in his second movie, which was uh, more real than most think, like him being the turning heel and that whole, I want the girls and the money, that was, that was real. Uh, and showed up in several spin-offs, including a guest appearance in 2020, yeah, it's just in 2020, that's when he came back, Beast Morphers. Outside of that, the actors appeared in short films, as most recent being the faith-based drama A Walk with Grace in 2019. Just as it, yeah, man, so. Uh, yeah, I always thought he was like a good dude. It sounds like he still is. Maybe he did get screwed. I don't know. Uh, if he did, that's unfortunate, like really unfortunate. And if he beats this, then he could still come back next year. That's, that's a selfish thought. But I mean, I don't... I saw some other uh, Power Rangers YouTubers talk about this. And I'm going to react to their videos. See what they have to say. I, I don't know, man. It's crazy. I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching.